Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to look at the very same five isomers of hexane, but in a much simpler representation. Here we have the linear form of hexane called n-hexane. We can add the dots to indicate that each corner does represent a carbon atom, but we don't have to. We can simply go ahead and draw the five lines representing n-hexane. Here we have the second isomer of hexane and the third isomer called 2-methylpentane because the methyl group is connected to the second carbon here and the methyl group here is connected to the third carbon. But notice how much quick, more quickly you can actually draw the representation of 2-methylpentane and 3-methylpentane just by drawing a few lines. Again, the corners represent the carbon, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons in the chain, therefore we call a pentane. Here's the methyl group with a carbon at the end, of course, we imagine it has the three hydrogens, that's the methyl group, two because it's connected to the second carbon atom. Or we can have the 2,2-dimethylbutane or the 2,3-dimethylbutane. Butane because now we only have four, one, two, three, four carbons in the chain, one, two, three, four carbons. We have two methyl groups, therefore the dimethyl, and both connected to the second carbon, so 2,2 two is the two methyl groups connected to the second carbon and 2, 3 are the two methyl groups, one connected to the second carbon and one connected to the third carbon. So you can see that once you start dealing with a lot of isomers, it is better to start using this particular notation. It's not as clear, but it's more quickly, and after a while when you get used to it, it looks just the same as putting all the C's and all the H's everywhere. And that's how it's done.